This is my $80 IKEA chair, and this is my new day one chair. But can he do this? Eh? But we can just lower the level. Whoa, but can he do this? <laughs> For those who knew that I built this entire room here for my office studio. So anyways, I have this chair here that I've been using for the last almost three years. There's nothing really wrong with it other than it doesn't recline, it doesn't do anything fancy, it just looks like an office chair. So finally I have another chair that I'm going to be replacing this. This is the Nitro Concepts S300 Radiant White. The arms lift up and they even swivel to the side or inwards and they pull out for your comfort of your elbows. They also recline really forward, and you can sit upright, and then recline almost laying down. Soft pillow for your neck, or your head, and it also has a spring where it bounces if you're all the way down or forward. When you lower it down, your feet can touch. Comfortable. When you raise it up, at 5'9", I can't touch the ground except for my tippy toes. The back is one solid color. Straps that come undone, so you can remove the pillows, and now you got a racing car seat. Now you can see what it looks like in a little dark room next to my gaming setup. It is the ergonomic office gaming chair that you can have yourself as well. So now I'm going to show you the unboxing portion. I don't know how much bigger it's going to be because I haven't seen it in person. I got it online, so let me go get it. I'll be right back. I would say it probably weighs like 70 pounds, maybe. Okay, reading on the box, it says that it's 60 pounds. That was pretty close. Once we have it assembled, it'll be 54 pounds, so it is still a pretty heavy chair. It is called the Nitro Concepts, and it is S300. I'm gonna have to make myself some room. And this is where I'm gonna do a speed up while I'm unboxing that. Now this is the base where the wheels are gonna go. White and black is what I went for. They have different colors. And here's the back support, and yes, it does look like a car racing seat. And I like the fabric already, it's very soft. It does have a cushion everywhere that I'm pressing on. And then we do have a plastic little insert here. Then we have the screws here that we'll have to screw on, and it does unzip. Now this is the neck support. It has a soft rubber grip so it stays clipped to clip it on and off with. Just got to the instructions right now. It does come with everything you need to do out of the box. Whoa now, this is a little bit heavier. And here's the bottom seat portion. And this is what the bottom looks like. Elastic. And I also see that you can actually bring these in or further out. Two more boxes, this makes the second one. Now this might be the lumbar for the back support, just judging by these straps here. And the last box is the hardware, and it is packaged nicely. There's the recliner, the lift up and lock. Here's when it stretches up. Some screws and bolts, the wheelies, bolt and screw covers, and lastly, oiled up. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to get all over my hands, but it is the hydraulic. Pretty heavy duty. Let's take out this garbage now. Okay, now to the assembly line to number one is use your chair you're replacing for the very last time to build your chair. Does it say that? So what I'm gonna show you here is me putting it together. If you don't wanna see it, you can skip, but obviously I like showcasing me unboxing it, putting it together so you get to see how it's gonna be like if you wanna do it yourself, because you're gonna have to do it yourself. I have these five wheels that are just going to insert into these holes. They will obviously clamp in the more force once I sit down. And we got rollage. This is still part one, so literally it just sits in there and you cup it, and that's all step one. Step two, once you're hot, take off your sweater. We're gonna need the screws, the Allen wrench, the plate, and the bottom seat. Now you can see I don't have a lot of room in here, but I still can manage. There is staples in here that might make you flick it. Oh, I got it. This is gonna plant itself onto here. It's a metal mechanism in there, so it's not plastic. Now you're gonna be getting the first four Allen screws here. Get the Allen screw wrench and just start putting them in hand tight and then just start tightening away. If you have a drill, I would advise using that so you can do this a lot quicker. 20 minutes in because I'm showcasing you guys slowly, trying to go step by step and go to part three, slap it right onto the base we created on the first one. We got the little insert right here, right? Sit down on it, sit down on it. it does feel a little bit more car-ish Part four wants us to take these off. These are much longer screws. Once you got them all off, now there's some caution tape here. 
letting you know not to pull this lever because it'll shoot. This is where the spring's at. It'll shoot like a mousetrap. Want to see it? So the reason why it shoots that fast is because it's spring loaded and that's how we're going to be able to let it lift up by itself. Okay, we're going to grab the long screws here, lift up a tad, screw it the most you can through. I just want to make sure I match this side. And there we go, that is hand tight so far. Use our Allen wrench here. Now they are exposed and there is plates here that we'll be putting this on to cover. Basically done other than finishing. Whoo, this is, I can actually recline this time. And that is a must have already for me. I could not recline on that and I would love to lean back. I can pick it up here. That really does put me upright. Like I feel like my posture is forcing me to sit up straight but we can just lower the level whoop but can it do this <laughs> okay so apparently pewdiepie's chair isn't the only one who can do this i think it still might go further i can't tell because my chair is in the way okay definitely was not rocking because i was leaning onto this chair back there but look we have a tension rock as much as i lean back it's still not rocking like flipping over i'm almost laying down flat i'm already in love with it that's all the way low that's all the way up now this does go much higher than my last chair i can barely touch my tippy toes like i, I can't even set my feet on the ground and now let's lower it now my feet do touch the ground we're not quite finished yet and look at that now i'm going to test and just barely tap here and see how much we can turn with just one little swipe. Almost a full turn with a little of a push. They're a little loud, but it's not like you're gonna be doing that the whole entire time while you're gaming. You can hear them snap right into place. And the last screws we gotta put in is just the covers. And they do have an extra one of the bigger bolts in case you lost it or broke it. And then another one of these little small ones. But they were nice enough to give you some extras. So for the covers, all we gotta do is slide it from the top. The same Allen wrench has a Phillips head. Screw it on nice and tight. Do the same Z's here for completing the chair. The instructions are very straightforward. As you can see, I can put this whole entire thing together. We got the little pillow here Pull through there. It wasn't too tough as I'm doing this the first time. There we go. Hides that little plastic piece and the rubber on the back of this is going to grip onto the plastic and now guard that. Now I want to sit on it before I put the lumbar support and I am wearing a hat so I guess I have to take it off and let you guys see my grungy crazy hair. Okay, that's enough. And ooh. Yes, indeed, it sits right on my neck. I am only five foot nine, so I guess you can adjust it up higher and lower so it does move around, but it's perfectly seated for me, and I feel like I am in good control just sitting on my own chair here. How long it's gotten. Woo! I wear hats all the time, not because I'm balding. Honestly, I don't know why I'm growing my hair like this. It just never done it so I tried it and the last thing is the lumbar support okay so I'm guessing something like this and I'm gonna guess that they do this it doesn't really tell you that instructions but it does go on there do you want to see these G strings on there uh, probably not but let me go on it oh Ooh, my back it like pushes my back in Let's go back oh that is seriously scary but it leans good i can almost sleep but there you go going from this chair it does not roll once the weight is off of this chair it doesn't roll so it doesn't go out by itself with this one i can roll whenever with no weight it does have a lot more weight this has no noise other than the feet lifting up and down but this is just rattle from the chair itself Okay, so it's a long video, but you get the idea. Showcase it from the unboxing to a little montage. The cool loser assembling. You could do it yourself or get some help. Depends on how inclined you are. Other than that, you saw it here. This is my new replacement chair. I've sat on this chair for almost eight hours now, and I have to say that I love it. So if you want one for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it in the description down below, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.